he did that, not me. He can clean it up. But today, I think it's worth a video because it's very interesting. They were single pole switches. This morning I changed them to two pole switches because he wanted this UPS to run these two lifts. One of them's around the corner here. He needs them on backup power. So I go, oh, one UPS, two cranes with two isolated. This is no good, you should have two actually. But anyway, so I took the power supply from that one, ran it into that UPS, went out of it into each isolator into a second pole. So from there, we have backup and backup and power supply and power su supply. One for each panel now through a two pole switch. So when they're off, absolutely nothing is live in either panel, respectively. So we're gonna turn one on now. The one that the UPS is connected to. Here we go. And we're gonna turn on this power. Now the problem is, this is not galvanically isolated. So you've got two isolator switches and up in the switchboard two safety switches, uh, RCBOs actually, supplying these. So with this neutral all connected, you're going to get different current flows from your active going in and out of each isolator switch and it trips the safety switches and probably isn't legal anyway. So what we have here is a break before make arrangement where the neutral has to be switched with the active. Everything is completely and utterly independent. So, if I drop the grid power in this panel, for example, watch these two swap over, we've got a break before make. Now this one here is a priority relay. This one was always energized by the grid and then with the usual interlocks between the two contactors. Same again here. You can see a bit of the wiring here. This is a active going through there and off to the coil of the adjacent switch. So that's an interlock going through a normally closed there. And these are normally opens. They're switching the actual power. We have here active neutral, active neutral, and respectively going through each contactor and that neutral then goes off to the universal neutral up there. So same again here. Grid power goes off. Hold on, I haven't turned it on yet. Right, so grid power's on. Bloody noisy little shit that. Okay, let's try again. Uh, still my, is it this one? Must be that one. All right. Anyway, works great. So this is a bit of a crossover between industrial electrical work, which I formerly came from into solar because no one would give me a job because I'm on a burn list. And you know what? He said, come and do it. I go, what are you talking about? Where's the wiring diagram? He goes, you make it up. So I did. These need a key on it. If you're going to have open like that, you need a key that needs to be replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Earth the door. Yeah, I could see that too. Shut up. Leave, say what you like in the comments. I don't care.